Hi, welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at building a vivarium for a northern white lip python. Here you see all the pieces flat backed. The backboard, as you can see, has six vents, allowing good ventilation throughout, as is high humidity vivarium, which is the environment needed by the snake. As you can see, the pieces are starting to come together. This vivarium is five foot long, three foot high, and two foot deep. Board pieces are made from proplast, plastic materials, to ensure that the humidity is retained inside. Once complete, the vivarium will have a temperature range in the hot end from the low 30s, then to the cool end in the low 20s. This will allow the snake to choose the temperature that it requires, and also the variation in humidity, which is most appropriate for the snake. Here we see the decor and lighting that we're going to be using in the vivarium. For heating, I'll be using a deep heat projector which can provide day and night temperatures without a light source. And then I'll be using a UV fluorescent tube for some UV source and also a white LED light for daytime lighting and blue LED light for nighttime viewing for a couple of hours. As you can see, we've got the glass sliding doors in place. The roof's been put on now, cables have been pulled through, in preparation for all the lighting to be connected. I've got the LED lights turned on so I can see what I'm doing. I've used some command hooks to hang the plants safely in the vivarium and now using cypress mulch as the bedding which is excellent for holding humidity. Jumping forward now we've added some wood pieces which are quite large to give the snake some uh, climbing structure and also added a couple of hides and water bowl to add humidity and drinking source. I'll keep the water bowl under the heat source to evaporate the water and also aid the humidity. Excuse the hook and gloves but uh, the snake's in shed. I wanted to minimise stress to the snake whilst uh, transitioning to his new home and also I didn't fancy being bitten as a snake's already bitten me twice. As is the nature of northern white lip pythons, can be quite nippy at times and the snake is still young so he's still getting used to me so I've not had him that long. After first going into the vivarium the snake was using the hides on the ground but after settling in has now spent most of his time basking on the logs. If you're looking at setting up a vivarium for a white lip python I would definitely recommend adding some height to your structures. Uh, so far mine has been uh, using mostly the height. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel or alternatively comment if you have any specific questions and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.